Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Blocks and Generates Press. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to replicate this page hero from the template library of Generates Blocks Pro. Let's get started. As usual, the first step is to set the content container to full width and Generates Press. Let's go ahead and add a container block. In the layout setting, we will use full width container, contained in a container, 1200 pixels in width, and diff for element tag. Next, we will go ahead and add our background image. We can select the image from the media library. Image size full. Selector, we will use pseudo element so we can apply a background color or background gradient later. Reduce the image opacity to 0.6. Size cover, position right center, no repeat, and attachment scroll. For the spacing options, we will use 120 pixels of top padding 20 on the right and 20 on the left and 360 pixels of bottom padding. Let's modify the color settings. For background color, we will use a blue and the rest will remain unchanged. Let's move on to shapes. We will add the first shape. We will use wave one. Color will be white. Location, bottom, height, 180 pixels, width, 100%, and Z index of 2. Let's add the second shape. This one will be wave 3. Adjust the color, opacity we will use 0 0.4, location bottom again, height 200 pixels, width 100%, and leave Z index to blank. Moving on to the third shape. And we will use wave four. Adjust the color. Reduce the opacity. Height we will use 140 pixels, increase the width to 120%, flip horizontally, and again leave the Z index to blank. Let's add our last shape.
For this one, we will use wave 5. Adjust the color. Reduce the opacity to 0.3 this time. Height, we will use 260 pixels. With 100%. We are now ready to add a grid wrapper inside the container. I will select 100% to start with, then select the container inside the grid wrapper and set it to 50%. Inside the container, we will add a headline block. Since it's a page hero, it would normally be a H1 element. Insert our text. And let's go to the spacing panel and increase the bottom margin to 40 pixels. Next, we will go ahead and adjust the colors. Next, we will add a buttons block. Change our text. Let's go to the topography setting first and change the font weight to bold. Let's go to spacing next. For this button, we will use seven pixels of top and bottom padding with 16 pixels of left and right padding. We will also add 20 pixels of bottom margin and border size of three pixels all around. Lastly, we will adjust the colors for the button. First, we will clear the background color. Text color will be white. And border color, let's use a blue. For hover, our background color, we will use the blue. Text color can remain white. And border color, we will use the blue again. Now let's take a look at this page hero in the mobile version. First, we will select the container on the very outside and click mobile. Let's tweak the spacing options. We will set the top padding to 160 pixels Reduce the bottom padding to 180 pixels. Next, 
Let's reposition the background image. For the desktop, we were using right center. For mobile, let's go with 70% and center. Lastly, let's try to smooth the shapes out a little on mobile. We will set the width of shape one to 140% and the rest to 200%. Now let's publish and take a look. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.